Welcome back, everyone, to For You English. I'm Adam, and I'm Elsie. Okay, so Elsie, yesterday we have learned some strange ways that doctors used to try to treat illnesses. Right. What、mm. were they? Ah, one was letting out blood、huh. to keep your body healthy. Yes. Oh, do you remember the second one? Okay, the second one we were talking about, like hammering holes into your heads. That's right. To relieve headaches. That's right. It was supposed to relieve headaches. Okay, so what are we going to learn today then? All right. Well, let's get into it.、Uh, today we'll learn more about what other things were done. Reading. Medical treatments you won't believe really existed. Today, we're going to explore four strange medical treatments from the turn of the 20th century. One, cocaine to cure hay fever. These days, we know that cocaine is highly addictive and can cause death in high doses. However, in the early 20th century. Cocaine was being used in drugstore medicines, including simple hay fever medicine. The drug was even in Coca-Cola until 1903. Two, morphine for babies. Another common medicine that included an addictive drug was Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup. We might not believe this now, but this medicine added morphine and alcohol. To the syrup to calm babies down. Three, malaria pills. In 1927, Professor Julius Wagner Jarecht won a Nobel Prize for his treatment of general paralysis of the insane, which included giving people malaria. The idea was to cause a fever, which would help healing. It actually worked in many cases. However. Up to 20% of patients also died from the treatment. Four, milk transfusions. In the late 19th century, doctors believed that milk could work in place of blood. So when there was a lack of blood, they gave patients milk instead, sadly causing many to die. Okay, so our article starts off by saying. Today we're going to explore four strange medical treatments from the turn of the 20th century. Hmm. So there we see the words "the turn of the century," which basically just means the beginning of a new century. Ah,、uh, so now the turn of the century, 那就是世纪之交 The turn of the twentieth century, 那就是十九世纪末到二十世纪初的这个时间点。那我们要来看当时的 four strange medical treatments. Treatments 这个字是个名词哦。当我们看到字尾有 m e n t 的时候，它多半是跟动词连用，形成一个名词。那表示呢，动作结果的名词。所以像是 treat 是治疗 ，treatment 那就是疗法。那同样的，像是 improve， 改善，名词，那就是 improvement。还有 achieve 达成，那名词就是 achievement。还有像是 develop 发展，那名词就是 development。That's right. All right. So the article first starts by saying cocaine to cure hay fever. Okay. So there we see the word cocaine, which is a noun. And cocaine is a drug used in medicine to prevent pain, and also used illegally, often in the form of a white powder that is breathed in through the nose. Cocaine 就是中文说的骨科碱哈，那现在是一种毒品。那再来，我们还看到 hay fever. What kind of fever is that? Hay fever 指的是甘草热、花粉热。那是一种由花粉引起的过敏疾病。So,、um, cocaine is a kind of drug, right? But why was it used in the past as a treatment?、Mm, well, I think it was probably most likely used is because it was maybe easy to make, and at that time, you we have to remember the technology of making new medicines wasn't quite there yet. True. 
So our article continues to say these days we know that cocaine is highly addictive and can cause death. In high doses. Oh, highly addictive. 副词 highly 是很高度的。那 addictive 这个形容词是什么呢 ？Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So there we see the word addictive, which is an adjective, and what it means is an activity or substance that makes a person want to keep doing it again and again. So we could say. Playing video games can be addictive. Also, for an example sentence, we can use: "It is not a good idea to smoke cigarettes because they are highly addictive. It is really hard to quit once you start." Addictive 这个形容词呢，代表使人上瘾的。好，那在课文里面呢，我们讲的是药物使人上瘾。我们用到 highly 来修饰它 ，highly addictive， 那就是高度使人上瘾。So a lot of things can be addictive, right? That's right. A lot of things can be addictive. You have drugs, alcohol, caffeine from the coffee, and I mean even video games. And, yeah. and sometimes even food, people get addicted to food. 没错，所以像是毒品、酒精、咖啡因，连你们的电动玩具 video games，、yeah. 好，都是会令人上瘾的。所以呀、啊，当我们要说某人对某物成瘾或上瘾的时候，我们可以讲 somebody， 然后再接上一个 be 动词，再接 addicted to something. So, for example, a lot of people are addicted to their phones. That's right. I agree with you. Everyone is addicted to their phones. It looks like today. 大家都对手机成瘾，到处都在划手机。<laughs> okay, we also saw the word dose, and dose is a noun. It's the amount of medicine or drug taken at a certain amount of time. So, for an example, my doctor told me to take three doses of medicine in the morning, noon, and at night. Ah,、oh, three doses of medicine. That is three times, three times the amount of medicine. So dose, this word is the amount. A high dose, that is the amount of medicine. So our text says that high dose of medicine will kill you. But things were different in the past. That's right. So our article says that high dose of medicine will kill you. But things were different in the past. That's right. So our article continues to say, however, in the early 20th century, cocaine was being used in drugstore medicines, including. Simple hay fever medicine. So there we see the word drug, which is a noun. It is a medicine or substance that has an effect on the body when taken. So an example sentence we could say as, "A new drug is being made to help people live longer lives."、Mm, that would be a good drug to take. The next word we see is drugstore. Which is a noun, and it is a place where people can buy medicine.、Uh, we could say, for an example, sentence: Can you run into the drugstore and pick me up some cold medicine? I'm feeling a little sick, or I'm feeling a little under the weather. Ah,、oh, so drug is a drug or a medicine, so it can be a kind of medicine or the illegal substance. Drug 的意思对不对 ？You're not going to find illegal substances at a drugstore. 哦、uh, ，在那个 drugstore 就是药局里面， mm. 当然不可能找到毒品。那买的就是药物。好，所以同学们要特别小心。Mm. Drug 有两个意思。那 drugstore 指的就是药局。我们也可以说 pharmacy. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that we'll say in the U.S. when we'll say. Can you go to the pharmacy or can you go to the drugstore? It's a shorter, easier term to say because maybe a pharmacy only has medicines, but a drugstore will have the medicines and also maybe they'll have snacks and drinks. You can grab、oh. a soda there, a magazine to buy, or、uh, other little things. In a drugstore as well, not just medicine. So I can say a drugstore is larger than the pharmacy. Uh, on most on most occasions,、mm-hmm. yes, it's it's larger. Let's talk about the、mm-hmm. drugstore medicines. What are they? Well, you can get headache medicine, cold medicine, sore throat medicine, runny nose medicine. Pretty much anything that you can get at a pharmacy, you can get at a drugstore.、Mm. 
Okay, so jumping back into our article, it says the drug was even in Coca Cola until 1903. Oh, I love Coca Cola. You do too. <laughs> We both love Coca Cola. Who doesn't? 可是这边说 the drug， 也就是 Coke， 它也在可乐里面出现，直到一九零三年为止。That's right. It's no longer in Coca-Cola nowadays. Okay. All right. So,、uh, jumping back to our article, it says now our next one is morphine for babies. So there we see the word morphine, and morphine is a noun. It is a strong drug medicine to help with pain. So when I was telling you in our first episode that I had a surgery. And it was a very long surgery.、Mm -hmm. After I got done with the surgery, and I was sitting in the hospital bed, when I had pain, the nurse would come in, and I could hit a button for morphine to come into me and relieve my pain. Oh, so it is morphine. The meaning is morphine can make pain reduce. But we are talking about morphine for babies here. Let infants use morphine. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know what were they doing back then. <laughs> All right. Well, continuing with our article, it says another common medicine that was. I'm sorry. Another common medicine that included an addictive drug was Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup.、Hmm. The name looks very soothing. <laughs> It's a fun name to say, right? Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup. That is Winslow 夫人的舒缓糖浆。形容词 soothing 代表就是舒缓的。那名词 syrup 指的就是糖浆。Mm. So what does it do? I don't know. I wonder what it tastes like. Okay, so getting back to our article, it says now we might not believe this now, but this medicine added morphine and alcohol to the syrup to calm. Babies down, wow! So maybe you just give them some the babies some spoons of Mrs. Winslow's soothing syrup, and then they stop crying and go to bed. That's magical. <laughs> <laughs> 好啦，那里面我们说它有加上 alcohol 这个东西是什么呢 ？Let's take a look. Okay, so everyone, we are looking at the word alcohol, which is a noun. Alcohol is a chemical that is used in science and manufacturing. It is an ingredient in many adult drinks, however, such as wine, beer, and whiskey, usually in liquid form. So usually it's in a liquid form. So an example sentence I could say is, "I might drink some alcohol." On my birthday, but probably just a beer or two. Alcohol 这个名词呢，代表就是酒精啦。那很多东西里面都有酒精，像是 wine， 葡萄酒 ；beer， 啤酒 ；whiskey， 威士忌。里面当然都有酒精。那爱酗酒的人，对酒精成瘾的人，我们可以说他是一个 alcoholic。Hmm. Yeah. Don't be an alcoholic. Okay. Jumping back into our article, it says malaria pills. So there we see the word malaria, which is a noun. It is a disease that you can get from the bite of a mos a type of mosquito.、Uh, it makes a person really sick and makes the person feel very cold. Also, we have the word pills, and pills is a noun. It's a small or large type of medicine that a person swallows. So it's a large or small tablet <clears throat> that you swallow. If pills, I could say for an example sentence, if pills are too large, I have a hard time swallowing them. You know that's true. Yeah, you might get choked. <laughs> okay, malaria 就是疟疾。那它是由特定蚊子所传染的一种疾病。那再来，我们看到的 pill 好指的就是药片、药丸。Okay, let's get back to our article. It says now in 1927. Professor Julius Wagner Yarig won a Nobel Prize for his treatment of general paralysis of the insane, which included giving people malaria. So there we see the word professor, which is a noun. It is a teacher who teaches in colleges or universities. So I could say, for an example, my professor just retired 
after teaching 30 years at the same university, or my professor always gives our class too many assignments during the school year. Okay, so professor 指的就是教授。那这边还看到的 Nobel Prize 指的就是诺贝尔奖。所以这个 professor, this professor got a Nobel Prize, and it was for his treatment of general paralysis of the insane, 麻痹性痴呆。What does this disease do to the body? Well, it's a terrible disease. It's a crippling and terminal disease, which means you can lose control over your mind and body. A person might suffer delusions, which basically means false beliefs. 幻觉 Yeah, you could think aliens are coming or something like that. Then what happens is they finally die. There's death. So there is also no known reason why someone gets it. Okay, so this disease will be cured, have false delusions. Why will it get it? The reason is unknown. So this professor、mm-hmm. won a Nobel Prize for his treatment of this disease by giving. The patient malaria. That's correct. Yeah. All right. Well, getting back into our article, it says the idea was to cause a fever, which would help healing. Ah,、uh, so it is to give the patient malaria, to make them cough, to treat this disease. Yeah, there's probably not many ways that it could help, and this was a new technique, a new way、mm. to think outside the box. Okay, our article then continues to say it actually worked in many cases. Really, in many cases, it was successful. But I have a question. But I have a question. Yeah. Is malaria a deadly disease? It is a terrible disease. It's very <laughs> deadly. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah,、um, but who knows? Let's see why it worked.、Uh, our article continues to say, however. Up to twenty percent of patients also died from the treatment.、Mm. So, yeah, it, maybe it didn't work on one hundred percent, only on eighty percent of the people. So some actually some, did die. Yeah, twenty percent died. In that sentence, everyone, we saw the word patient, and patient is a noun. It's a person who is receiving medical care. So, for an example sentence, I could say the doctor sees over fifty patients a day. Patient 当名词用的时候就是病人、患者；当形容词用的时候就是有耐心的。那相反字呢是 impatient。所以课文说，不幸的是，高达百分之二十的病患死于这项治疗。No wonder it doesn't exist today. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's look at our next one. Uh, the article says milk transfusions. So there we see that long word transfusion. It's a noun. It is the process of adding blood to the body to a person or an animal. 指的就是输血的意思 Transfusion. That's right. So if you know your blood type, you can give your blood to someone else. But it was、uh, for. Milk transfusion, right? Yeah, we're talking about milk. Oh, okay. So our article continues to say, in the late nineteenth century, doctors believed that milk could work in place of blood. In place of blood, do you mean right? So what does in place of mean? In place of is to use something instead of something else. So a lot of times you go to a supermarket, they might say to you. Please use your own bag in place of plastic bags while shopping at the supermarket. Ah,、uh, so in in place of something is 代替取代 So doctors believed that milk could replace blood. Yeah, that is interesting. Wild and interesting. Okay, jumping back into our article, it now says so. When there was a lack of blood, they gave patients milk. Instead, sadly, causing many to die. Okay, so 这边呢，课文当中我们看到一个文法点，要来跟同学们解释喽。So let's go to today's language and focus. All right, great. <音楽>今天的 language and focus， 我们要讲到的是对等子句简化成分词构句。当你看到由对的连接词 and 连接的两个子句主词相同的时候呢，你可以将表连续动作或附带状态的第二个子句简化成分词片语，形成分词构句。那简化的步骤是：第一个，去掉对的连接词 and， 
，好 ，and 拿掉，不需要它了。第二个，去掉第二个子句当中相同的主词，注意是第二个哦。那第三个，我们就要将动词改为现在分词。So for example, Sean got on the train and Sean waved to his wife. 这句话可以简化成 Sean got on the train waving to his wife， 也就是 Sean 搭上火车并向他的妻子挥手。So of course, milk doesn't work in place of blood, right? No, it doesn't. Ah,、oh, milk in place of blood. No. All right. Well, that is all the time we have for today, everyone. So let's jump into our for you chat questions. For you chat. So for our for you chat questions. Do you think all the medicine we can take now is safe? Explain your answer. I think all the medicine that we can get in the hospitals from the doctors or in pharmacies are safe to、mm. take. Right. But if it's a kind of illegal drug, then I don't think it's safe. That's true. What、uh, about you? I agree with you one hundred percent. You also in our. Uh, in our article, it says we have to be careful of the doses,、mm. right? So, just because you're feeling better or you're feeling worse, it's not okay to keep taking doses after doses of medicine. But overall, I think the medicine that we have today is now safe. Good. Okay, so that's all the time we got for for you. So this is Elsie, and I'm Adam. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Dose. We are going to increase the dose of your medicine and check the results after two months. Drug store. My mother has a cold, so she asked me to get her medicine at the drug store. Alcohol. People in the U.S. cannot buy alcohol until they are twenty-one years old. Pill. I was feeling sick, so I went to the doctor, who gave me some pills to take. Professor. Music history was a really fun university course, and the professor taught us a lot. Patient. Marco is a patient at this hospital and will stay here until he recovers from his illness. 小补帖。Cocaine. Addictive. Morphine. Malaria. General paralysis of the insane. Transfusion. Triple W.English.Cu.Net.